Shalom Yasharala, Shalom. Rakati Yahwa, Rakati Yahwa Shai. Rakati Yahwa, Rakati Yahwa Shai. Rakati Yahwa, Rakati Yahwa Shai. Bar Shem, Rakaha Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach well and rule well. Peace, salutation to the Akim, the fellow laborers, the hopeful elect pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. And to the Akwath listening, listening and learning, Shalom. So Brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. And now through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the title of this lesson. If these doors of repentance are closing, man. You know what I mean? Right? We see all these uh phenomena, right? What the world ignorantly calls phenomena taking place on a worldwide scale, right? The Mosai, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, is at work, right? And when we go to the scriptures, we know that Yahweh Shai told us what it is we're to look for before his return, right? And the, these doors are closing, man, right? And if, if two-thirds of our people don't get right, you know what I mean? <laughs> Missile food, destruction, right? In some form or the other, right? Whether it be sore, whether it be pestilence, right? Matthew 24 Verse 3, and it reads, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? Right? So Yahweh Shai, the disciples came to Yahweh Shai, asking when, 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 when are the sign of, when is the sign, what are the signs we should be looking for, for when you return, and the end of the world? Right? Right? And the world meaning uh, the, the ending of another kingdom, the ending of one kingdom and the ushering in of the next, right? That's what these wacky tackies get it confused, right? The ending of the world just means the ushering, the ushering, of a, ushering in of a new kingdom, right? We'll get that right now. Second Ezra 3, verse 1. And it reads, for Esau is the end of the world, right? This kingdom that we're in right now is Esau's kingdom. Esau's rulership. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given over into the hand of the wicked. The wicked is Esau, Esau Edom, the so-called white man. This is his kingdom. This is his heaven, right? And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Jacob, the Israelites, Israel being a people before a place, beginning with the elect, right? We got next. Jacob's kingdom is next, the beginning of it that followeth. So one kingdom is going to go out, and a new kingdom is going to come in, a kingdom of righteousness. Matthew 24, verse 4, And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. Here's the point, Matthew 24, verse 6, And ye shall hear of wars, and rumors of wars. See that ye be, see that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet, right? These are the things, these are the signs that we're seeing, right? Wars, rumors of wars. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, right? We see that, nation against nation. Right now the Middle East is in, in high tension, high alert. And kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, right? There's worldwide hunger everywhere, man. People starving. And it's only going to wax worse. And pestilences, right? We see pestilences. This crown thing is a pestilence. And earthquakes, right? We saw those articles. And earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows, right? So th this door of repentance, it, repentance is closing, man. Right? And we see it. We see censorship. We see censorship. 
uh, censorship coming out. Amos 8 verse 11, and it reads, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh power, that I, will, that I will send a famine in the land. Right? And what is this famine? What is this famine? This famine is not of food, not of bread. Not a famine of bread, right? Nor a thirst for water, right? Not physical food, not sustenance, not water, right? The famine is going to be of what? But of hearing the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? And we see it happening. Pages being taken down constantly. Pages of the truth, us GMS brother, the, the, the elder from the elder apostles on down, of GMS, right? Pages being torn down, right? Esau scrambling trying to t trying trying to stop the word from going out, right? But ultimately, the the famine of the word's gonna come. It's gonna hit, right? It says right here in verse twelve, and they shall wander from sea to sea. Who's gonna wander? two-thirds of our people and from the north even to the east right now they're going to want to try and get right what was that you were saying again brother what was that you're telling me the name of the most high is right they shall run to and fro to and fro they're going to be going everywhere man trying to find trying to hear this word to seek the word of yahweh by shem Shai and shall not find it right they're not going to be able to hear it man internet's gonna, internet's going to crash man jake we're on the well, jacob's trouble is going to be some serious times man there's going to be no ip there's going to be no tech. There's going to be no internet. There's going to be no smartphone access. There's going to be no scroll and swipe. There's going to be no like and unfollow. There's going to be none of that, man. These YouTube videos, we put our videos up for the elect. We make our videos for the elect. That's all gone That's all gone out the window just now, man. The famine of the word. Right? These doors are closing. Once the, once the famine of the word comes in and you can't hear the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, it's done. It's through. Right? That door of repentance closed, shut. Two thirds of our people out there repent. These doors are closing. Isaiah 55, verse 6, and it reads, Seek ye Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, while he may be found. Seek him while he may, may be found. Repent now. Repent or die. Now is the time. Because once the Mosai pulls his word back, puts the spirit on Esau, Edom to clamp down on, on, on free speech. Once the Mosai pulls this word back, he's already pulled the prophets off the streets. Most places you can't, most places right now on this planet, you can't go and congregate. Right? Most places on this planet, you can't go to the, the to where you saw brothers teaching. Because the brothers aren't there no more. Because of the because Esau's put, bringing down the hammer, put down these rules. Seek ye Yahweh while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near, right? Now is the time. Now is the time. Because the Mosai, the Mosai is about to shut this door shut tight. Zephaniah 2 verse 3. And it reads, Seek ye Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment, right? The judgment's about to go forth. This whole earth is about to be judged. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Right? Because the judgment that's about to go forth, man, unless you seek the most high and repent from now, that, 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 that hedge of protection will not be around you, man. You won't be hid in the time of trouble that's coming. Acts chapter 3 verse 14. Repent. Two-thirds of our people. We make our videos for the elect. Two-thirds of our people out there sleeping Jacob. Deaf and dumb, blind, repent. Salak. Acts 4. Salak. Acts 4.
Mordecai, Acts 3, verse 19. And it reads, Repent ye therefore, right? Repent and be converted, right? Convert, return to the ways of Yahweh by Shimei and Shai, right? Re return to the true name of Yahweh by Shimei and Shai. Yahweh being the true name of the Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, right? Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, right? You got to repent and convert. To have any chance at the most high to, to blot out your sins. When the times of refreshing shall come, the refreshing, when Yahweh Shai shall return and burn this place, right? When Yahweh Shai and his mighty angels shall return and burn this place with the with the with the with the, with the ICBMs uh, in tandem with the ICBMs that are gonna be, that are gonna lay waste to America, the great Babylon the Great, right? Those laser beams from the chariots with the world every cause you oppose. Right, when the Most High, when, when Yahweh Shai comes back to burn this place, the times of refreshing shall come from, from the presence, the presence of the Lord, the Lord being Yahweh Shai. Right? Repent. These doors are closing. Sirach 5, verse 7. These doors are closing. Sirach chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying, right? Don't put it off. Don't wait to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day. Don't put it off, right? For suddenly, <laughs> it's going to come like a thief. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed, right? It's going to be, there's no warning. Us in this truth, I don't want to wrap this out. The elect, we're, we're watching for the signs. We see the signs coming. But two-thirds of Jake out here, they have no clue what's going on. No clue that there should be signs that they're looking for, right? And in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. That day of vengeance, that, that day of vengeance is at hand, Right? Like a thief. Isn't that in Luke? Luke 21. That day unawares. Yahweh Shai said this, our Lord. It's a red letter. Luke 21, verse 21, verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness and cares of this life, right? Distracted. Distracted with, the, with chasing the bag. Distracted with, with, with the cares of this life. Distracted with with ban banqueting. Distracted with drinking it up. Chasing women. Right? The cares of this life. The pride of life. The lust, the lust of the eyes. Right? And so that day come upon you unawares. Right? Distracted where that day comes upon you unawares. Yahweh Shai's return. For as a snare trap shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Right? Unexpected. Suddenly. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. Right? Us in this truth, we're watching and praying always. Right? But two thirds of our people out there need to repent. Right? Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Kind. Right? Because the, 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 these times that are coming. Right? Like a thief in the night. It's a lack. Khan, 
2 Peter 3 verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, right? A thief. When a thief, a thief doesn't announce that he's coming. A thief doesn't tell you that he's coming. A thief that shows up and breaks into whatever it is you have and takes. Right? In the night, right? In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, right? That's those ICBMs passing away the heavens, man. Melting this place. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat, right? That fervent heat from those ICBMs and the lasers from the chariots with the world ignorantly cause you foes, right? The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. They're gonna, it's going to burn up, man. Right? Right? Yahweh is, is coming back. He's not going to play, man. Revelation 1 verse 7. He's not going to play. Repent. These doors are closing. Revelation 1 verse 7. And it reads, Behold, he cometh with clouds. Who cometh with clouds? Yahweh Shai. What are the clouds? The chariots. What are the chariots? What the world ignorantly calls UFOs. And every eye shall see him. Every eye is going to see him. Right? Every, every, eye that is, every, eye, every eye is going to see Yahweh Shai's return, man. And they also which pierced him, right? Meaning, all, all generations, all spirits are, are, are all spirits are back, right? All spirits will be raised from the dead. The dead in Yahweh Shai first, right? Along with the elect to be caught up to meet our our, our, our Lord in power in the air. But all all, all spirits are going to see him. The spirits that were that 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 were that were here on the planet back then, that 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 crucified our Lord, they're going to see him. And all creatures of the earth shall wail because of him, right? Great sorrow, man. Those that ain't right, two-thirds of our people, two-thirds of our people, those that ain't right, they're going to be shook, they're going to be frightened, they're going to shit the bed, so to speak, man. Shall wail because of him, even so, Amen. right? Let's close out with this one, man. Right, we're just blowing the trumpet. Matter of fact, let's go to Isaiah 58. Cry aloud, spare not. Right? Repent. Two thirds of the people out there. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And that's what we're doing. Us in this truth. Blowing the trumpet. Warning. Right? Destruction's coming. Repent. Right? And show my people their transgression. Whose people? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Who are the Israelites? Israel being a people before a place. The so called indigenous, the so called Latino, the so called Negro. And the house of Jacob, their sins, right? Is the Israelites. Israel being a people before a place. We're showing you, show the house of Jacob their sins. You, you ain't right. You eat abominable foods, right? You committed adultery, right? You're not keeping the law, statute, commandments, right? We're showing you what's up and telling you to get right. Repent, because the day of doom is coming. Let's close out with this. Malachi. Malachi 4 verse 1. And it reads, For behold, the day cometh, right, that day is coming, man, that shall burn as an oven, right? Those ICBM missiles are going to lay waste to this place. Those laser beams from the chariots with the world ignorant cause UFOs is going to lay waste to this place. The place is going to burn like an oven. And all the proud, who are the proud? America the Great, Babylon the Great, Esau, Edom, Idumia, the ruling class elites, the wicked, right? And all the proud, and all that do wickedly, right? All that do wickedly. Two thirds of our people, these other nations, Esau, Edom, the wicked, shall be stubble. You're gonna burn up in it, man. And that day cometh, and that and, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, right? You're gonna burn up in it. Saith Yahweh of hosts, the Mosai, Yahweh Bashim Shai, of hosts, armies, host being armies, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, right? Nothing's gonna be left, man. Desolate, waste. I pray you're edified. I don't want to stay prayed up, pray without ceasing. Kwam Yasharala, Wa Abad Babal.